Whoa, guys, UFC 296, Las Vegas, and this was possibly the most brutal knockout of the year. Joe Rogan said this was the worst knockout he's ever seen. Listen, guys, UFC 296 is not disappointing. Bryce Mitchell from the USA taking on Josh Emmett. Now, listen, if you're not familiar with Josh Emmett, this was a featherweight fight. Five foot six, he packs a mean punch. We're talking about, look, he's 38 years old. A lot of people said he was done, but he's got a 70 inch reach, fights ortho. He lands nearly five significant strikes per minute. Had a rough loss, lads. He lost to Yair Rodriguez. And I mean, a lot of people, I mean, Yair subbed him. A lot of people thought that he would win that fight with his power. Look, two, two loss win streak comes into this match, and he's fighting. Look, Bryce Mitchell's literally the American kid. But the reality here is, guys, after his win against Dan Iggy, this is a totally different contest. Look, Emmett says he's healthy. Now, this is after the knockout. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you the knockout here coming up. This is Bryce Mitchell. They're trying to stand him up. And this is, this is what you do not want to do after a brutal knockout like that. You need to let the person either stay on the ground or sit, right? When you take a brutal knockout like that, the oxygen to your brain, the oxygen flow is just cut off. And literally, you, you your, your blood flow is in array. You cannot literally stand up, okay? The body's still in shock. Oxygen needs to be restored to the brain. Blood need, The blood flow needs to be restored to the body. Literally, that cuts, it, it disrupts your blood flow, right? Which is why you're shaky, you're wobbly. Oxygen needs to be restored properly. It takes a while for your body to absorb that shock. He's suffered a concussion. They're trying to stand him up. And DC and Joe Rogan, they're like, look, his legs are shaking, literally. I'm going to show you the knockout, guys. This was brutal. It's right here. Unbelievable. And look, after the knockout, literally, they they stood him up right away. And I'm like, what are these doctors doing? This is horrible. This, this is horrible from these professionals. They should know better than this. Get him a stool. Let him sit down, gather himself. And to make things even worse, they walked him out of the octagon immediately. Now, look, I know Joe's been, um, Dana White's been under a lot of pressure, you know, from the damage some of these fighters are taking. Uh, to the brain and it seems like every time there's a brutal knockout lately Dana's rushing into the ring They're getting the fighters out of there this Wrong wrong move here. Let him sit. Let him gather his thoughts Regain his blood flow his oxygen to the brain and look I'm gonna show you the knockout one more time But again Joe Rogan and and, and, and DC they're throwing a fit here They're like look because if you're watching this fight his legs are shaking He can't walk and they're kind of holding them up. This is horrible guys but nonetheless, guys, if you're not familiar with Emmett, he's uh, he's now 19 and four, and look, he's 38 years old. But uh, I mean, he's a striker, raw striker. Can can I mean, when you when you lose to the Yair, Yair has got one of the worst stand up games in the in the UFC. But his takedown game is amazing. He's good on the mat. He's sneaky with his kicks. Remember that elbow. John Yadong knocked him out. But nonetheless, guys, you want to take a look at the knockout again? That's your winner right there, Emmett. Brutal knockout. Look at it that again. That was like a head kick knockout. That the way he went down with one shot and just stayed down for so long unconscious, it was like someone getting kicked. Yeah, no, it's a And again, like 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 Joe said, it was more like a kick. I mean, kicks are a lot more powerful than punches, you know, because you got literally most of your body weight. But nonetheless, guys, brutal knockout. UFC two ninety six. That was brutal. Wow.